Thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring so many new makeup items. Some of these are new to me and some are new. So I've received some things from By Terry. I've got Ilya that I just picked up, Floresis eyebrow pencil that I know so many of you already know about and some are very curious about. And this lip color is actually a lip pencil and I have several lip pencils that I try on for you in this video and I just added a little lip gloss on top. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the Ilya Super Serum Skin Tint. This is SPF 40. I looked this up and there are so many awards that this has won. And this is one of those things I've wanted to try for such a long time. So it has a dropper like this. Well, let me show you. I already have some in the back of my hand. When you first dispense this, you can see really how light it is. It says shake well before use, which I did, and then a quarter size, I think quarter, yeah, into palms and apply like a serum. I don't ever apply serum. I don't think like that. I usually, usually use my fingertips like this. Um, I'm going to do half though. and I'm going to show you how this meshes with the skin because it does look too light. Yeah, so when I tested these, initially the testers were broken in support, which was just like the top part. So I don't think I was getting the true pigment, which is why I think it threw me off. And then when I went back the second time, you can see it's deepening already. Um, when I went back, when I went back the second time, I noticed that uh, they actually swatched differently because I had put several on my hand and they all looked the same, but you also have to wait. Yeah, it says upon application, your shade will appear lighter to guide you in applying the SPF. So I think they're saying that this white cast helps you determine if you've covered all of the areas so that you can actually see it. So it acts as a guide. So I'm gonna let this uh, settle in for about, I just dropped my perfect blur powder, but I think it's okay because it dropped on the rug instead of the floor. Yeah, it's intact. I was trying to use the mirror here. So I didn't even use all of this, but let's give it a minute and see how it looks after it absorbs and kind of settles in. So see you in about a minute. Okay, so that's after a minute. I can still see that it's a little bit lighter, but you know how we fix everything around here with powders. I'm gonna go ahead and even it up though. So you can see though the initial versus after a moment. It says it's a clean skin tint with light dewy coverage, mineral SPF, and active levels of skincare ingredients. So it says it's a super powered skin tint in terms of skincare. It says it creates a natural barrier for your skincare, sealing in hydration, plumping skin, and boosting any antioxidant effectiveness by 200%. Silicone free, fragrance free, chemical screen free, oil free, non-commutogenic, and safe for sensitive skin. Oh, also it says 1% of Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 sales go toward our planting 1 million trees by 2023 with 1% for the planet. So you have another added benefit there from purchasing this product. And then it has no added fragrance, so the natural scent might come through. It smells like cedar or something like that, like a woodsy scent, um, but it says it fades after application, which is my experience. I don't sense any fragrance after application. Yeah, it doesn't look like this in my mirror. In my mirror, it looks like my skin tone. So you might get some reflection from the light right now that's picking up on the camera. So I think with this one, if you can possibly get some kind of tester to test it out and see what it looks like in real life. But if you are around my shade, then Paloma is the area you'll want to look at. I have a little tester, I forgot. I was gonna use something else, but I'm gonna see if this works. It's the uh, By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Concealer, which I think some of you let me know that you like. I have Medium Fair, which I think is closer to my skin tone than the other two that I have. Seems a bit lightweight. Yeah, it's got a lot of hydration, this product. Um, maybe a little too hydrating for me, but I can see drier skin types liking this. Okay, right away that's something that I am not loving under my eyes. I don't have a lot of texture, but I'm seeing some texture with that, but I don't know if it's because I don't have the applicator, but so far the formula is not something that's getting along with my under eye area. So I'm gonna go in with the Peach Low Lighter by Rodeal. It's a light peachy tone. So if you saw my Chanel video, that is quite dense in terms of pigmentation for the Chanel color corrector. Actually, I might use it down here today. 
Uh, it did pretty well. You can see how light this is. It does a really nice job of some light color correcting. If you want something lightweight and something kind of like a no makeup makeup product. So this is hydrating as well, but not like that by Terry product I just applied. We're gonna go in with a By Terry um, Sunny Flash in a moment here. Yeah, so I think that's gonna help because everything's looking super, super light. It's okay. I'm gonna add the uh, Peach Low Lighter on the side as well. Yeah, I wish Rodeo made this just a little bit deeper. Um, that would be nice. Or if they even had one that was a lot deeper and I could just mix them. Because I like the No Makeup Makeup kind of finish to this uh, Rodeo peach low lighter. They have another one, a banana one. I think it's more of a yellow tone. We were on a Zoom call with the Rodial founder and it was amazing how just a little bit of makeup made such a difference on her. This is a Raymore's brush because I already misplaced the other one I was using. Let's go in with some powder. How about the situation? We've got the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. Just taking this peachier shade here. Might have to go in with a deeper shade, we'll see. Okay, that's helping a little. But yeah, I have so many boxes lined up with several products in one box, all new, either uh, PR or things I've purchased. So look for those in the coming days, weeks. I'm gonna use this deeper shade as well to kind of help out here. You can still see a little bit of that um, discoloration poking through. Let's see if we Need to fix that, we'll see how it goes. Next Generation Eye Base by Chantecaille. So hopefully this helps with those who have some color to their skin, but also you want physical SPF on your skin and it creates as much as you try to pick the right color, still creates some kind of white cast or looks too light on your skin. Hopefully showing you how these powders help can help with that process as well because I think we're already getting a lot better here um, because of the powder that I added, the By Terry. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And this powder is quite lightweight. I don't actually see a lot of powder on my skin. I see skin more than anything else, even though I've added quite a few layers at this point, but they're all very thin layers. This is more of the style of makeup I wear every day just because I don't wear a lot of makeup every day. I love playing with makeup, but in reality, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Fluorasis Eyebrow Pencil, which, um, yes, I saw my friend Angela Van Rose uh, rave about this, so I'm excited about it. We'll see, hopefully the color is good, and oh. Okay, already, okay, really quickly, I know I just did a really quick application, but I've used so many brow products, especially this kind of sword shape, um, and this applied really easily and I already, I like the color. So hopefully the rest of it will go well. But yeah, I like the way it's applying and just depositing the color really evenly. There is no patchiness, which can happen with more of these sword type products. It's a really quick, easy application, very even, very nice. I'm trying to draw little hairs. Well, I didn't even try. It's, I just turned it on its side so it's a, uh, lengthwise <laughs> and you can see there's little hairs that I drew on there because I'm actually quite sparse in the front here and it looks like little hairs. Very nice. Okay so I have high hopes for the rest of the products that were kindly gifted to me. Ooh, Gucci eyebrow pencil now has a competitor and really nice spoolie on this. So what's gonna make a difference here is if it's going to look shiny or not. That's what I love about the Gucci pencil. It's not shiny and this color is spot on too. It's got that coolness to it. It doesn't have any red, and I love that Gucci pencil. I just bought two more, but very impressive eyebrow product. So longevity is going to be something I'll be watching for. See if it uh, falls apart. Sometimes uh, brow pencils can interact with the skin and get kind of separated after a while, especially in the heat. So I'm gonna watch for that. But ooh, I'm really liking this. Really fast, even application. Love, love, love this color, especially if you have my coloring. If you bought this because of Angela, let me know because she was spot on about this one. The new Dior Show Onset Brow. It's the one in 032. It is more brown than say this pencil though, so we'll see. 
And I don't seem to use as much of this either. Like a little bit goes a long way with this product. I've been waiting to use this. This is a very luxurious packaging. Um, a little bit different than this one right here. This is more lightweight, but this is more like the packaging I remember from when I first started using By Terry many, many, many years ago. This is limited edition. This I think because of the packaging. Uh, it's in Sunny Flash and I had Apricot Glow. I think I still have it, but this is Sunny Flash. This is a radiance boosting powder, color correcting, built-in skincare, evens out the skin tone and gives warmth to the complexion. It captures the light and boosts your natural radiance in just one brush stroke. It's got optical glow technology providing color correction, smooth lines and blurs imperfections. I like that. Benefit of rosehip oil evens out the skin tone without drying the skin, creates a flawless, finish. Create a subtle all over glow or highlight features or highlight features. Okay, so you can use this all over or highlight features. I'm going to just apply on the exterior first to see how deep it is because I don't know. It did come with a lovely brush, this one right here, which I think is probably nice for like highlighting like this. Apply to the exterior first because I don't know how deep this is going to look on me. Well, this is lovely. Really pretty. Okay, so let's do a little dusting across. It's gonna add some color. Oh, so if you <laughs> wanna add a little bit of color back, kind of like, um, oh no, I wonder how this compares with something like my Guerlain Terracotta Light. It's kind of having that effect. Yeah, I just accidentally removed a little bit of the coverage there on my lovely dark spots. But actually, let's see, can we do something with this powder to blur? I don't know. This does a very similar job compared to the Guerlain Terracotta Light, except this has more of a glow. I can see it, like you can see it right here. And even though the Terracotta Light's supposed to have more of a glow, it's not as glowy as this. Yeah, I don't get that same kind of light, especially here. Um, so this is something though to watch in terms of texture because I can see if I add too much, we're gonna get a texture issue, but a very light coating is just fine. So we're gonna leave it there for now. I know you can see some darkness. I'll fix it if I need to. Let's use this so we can we can brush it across the tops here. As if I've been in the sun, which I never am. <laughs> yeah, we even had coffee outside and I put on tons of sunscreen just for the coffee and we weren't even in the sun. We were under a, the patio, but I still had on SPF. Okay, so this is actually a cute little brush for that purpose. Something a little different, I think it's pretty. Bronze Generation by, by Terry. And I'm going to just line the whole eye and see what we can do to add on top of that. But I love using eye crayons and eye pencils for one and done looks. Just an Isam number T05. Okay, so, so far I haven't put bronzer, have I? Yeah, I kind of used that Sunny Flash was as a bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with my Tom Ford, uh, the cream and powder eye duo. This is in the shade uh, 01. I'm gonna take the bronze shade here. Let's just use clean hands for a moment here and use a brush if we need to. That's a really simple eye. I'm gonna go in with my Byredo palette. I'm just going to go in with the gold shade. I think we'll go in with that one. Pat that in the middle. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I prefer this to the one that's in there because this one's a little bit chunkier. The one in the lid is a little bit chunkier than the one I just applied. Okay, let's go ahead and add mascara. Oh, nice glow going there. It does look like I've been in the sun. What a huge difference between when I initially put on the SPF and now, yeah. Powders are transformative. Okay, I'm gonna use By Terry mascara because we have so much By Terry going on here. And then we'll finally play with those cheek products. I've been waiting so long to play with them. I keep looking at them. Now we're gonna try them. Okay, I was just noticing that my hairline uh, needed a little bit more bronzing. So I took the little brush that comes in the powder. It's not a bronzer, but I'm using it as a bronzer. And I also noticed it goes really nicely if I hold it this direction, right under here, and then right along the jawline really nicely. It's a good little shape for that. Really pretty powder. Okay, let's go in with the blush. Brightening CC liquid blushes. I've got both. So let's try both. We'll try one on one side, one on the other. We've got here 
rosy flash. Um, let me see how to use this. It doesn't say how to use. Okay, there's a little video. Let's watch. Okay, they're just brushing it on and then tapping. That was a very quick video. If you haven't seen this, there's a brush here and then you push. I like the convenience of this. It's kind of nice. So you can see the product there. Well, maybe that's too much. Let me put that on the back of my hand. So let's tap. She tapped it on like this. So you can see how nice and pink that is and how glowy my skin looks from that CC powder. That is really beautiful. It's got a glow kind of like the powder. That is lovely. Let's do a little test. Let's bring it up a little further because uh, I wanted to see if it disrupts anything or brings about any discoloration that I have hiding underneath here now. Usually a liquid blush, oh, let's do this. The Clay de Peau blush brush helps quite a bit uh, when it comes to applying liquid or cream blushes uh, so it doesn't disturb anything underneath. So I love this brush for stippling on those kinds of uh, non-powder blushes. Oh, pretty, it actually blurred a little bit as well. Now there's just the slightest cool reflective quality in here, very subtle though. Yeah, I may have to conceal here or powder or something because I can see a little discoloration, but the texture is really smooth looking. Like you can't see that I've tried to cover that up a little bit. Let's take this one. This is the one in Sunny Glow. Oh, this is going to kind of just mesh with my skin, I think. Oh yeah, this is more just a concentrated version of the powder. So if you want like a monochromatic, no makeup, makeup kind of glow, this one's really pretty as well but it does look very similar to the uh, powder, just like I said, more concentrated. So it looks more bronzed here, I'm gonna say, versus here where it's just, of course I like this side. Yeah, because I like that flush of color with the blush versus this, but it's definitely uh, something to look at if you like this kind of monochromatic look. I think that's really pretty though. Yeah, pretty, okay, now the trick is evening these out. So it's working better for me to apply it to the back of my hand and then use this, uh, clay de peau brush and just stipple it on. When I apply it straight to the skin, it's like, I'm not quite sure how much is gonna end up there. Just trying to make these more cohesive. Yeah, so it's definitely more muted. If you wanna do like a muted blush, you can combine the two. So that's the difference. I'm trying to see if I can just disguise this discoloration here <laughs> without having to cover it up. So I found with discoloration, sometimes just refracting the light helps as well as covering it up. So I did less covering up here and more of a distraction from it, I think. You can see here how glowy that blush is. I think it's so pretty. In my everyday life, I don't go for perfect makeup, um, but it does kind of distract me when I'm editing my videos. That's why I really try hard to make sure it looks really perfected for a video. Let's go in now that I've said that with a little bit of my blur powder and then that might just take care of it. Let's see. Okay, and that helped a lot. Well, that's a really lovely blush. It does dry down very nicely. Yeah, nothing sticky. We've got some lip liners that are really beautiful. Um, let's go with something natural first. The Isem Dual Lip Pencil. We'll go in with, oh, let's go in with this one first. It's a little peachier. Okay, so that's a really natural color. Let's go in with the pink side as well. This will brighten it up, I think. So you can do that and it has like a matte type of finish to it. What I wanted to do though was try, oops, don't lose the lids. Uh, Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, and it seems to be a bit translucent, so I'm just going to add on for a little bit of a transformative thing to make it look more like a lip lipstick. That's actually really quite pretty, isn't it? And then with the lip gloss, it's like I have a lipstick on. So you can kind of um, adjust if you want it warmer or cooler. This doesn't remove easily. So if you're looking for something that's gonna stay, you might wanna try these pencils. That's not totally removed, but you can see also how well it covers up pigmentation. Cause this is a lighter shade. This is pretty too. This is the lighter uh, side of the dual lip pencil and nude. Put some gloss on top of this. Well, that's really beautiful. Especially if you like that 
monochromatic look with the tan, what's it called? The, the sunny glow, and then this I think go really well together. Yeah, pretty, and I like that Dior Lip Addict. There's a bit of plumping though, you can tell there's a like a minty sensation. Let's try one of these really bright ones. Ooh, that's really bright. Let's try this orangey one. This is an um, brazen. Oh yeah, that's bright. It's not that bright though. I think that really brings out the tan shade. Let's go ahead and add the gloss as well. I think it actually looks quite fresh um, when it's matte like this, but we'll add a little bit of hydration. That's actually more sophisticated than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit too like 80s neon, um, but really beautiful. Okay, let's just try the pink. We're here anyway. They've got some staying power. Oh wow, okay, this is more like that 80s color I was talking about. Okay, that's definitely probably something I wouldn't wear. <laughs> it might be really great on some people. Let's put a little gloss, ooh. It's like that cool, bright pink. <laughs> definitely a summer color and you really have to like this color, but it's pretty if you like it. It's not my taste, but let me find one that is. I do still have some color left over, but let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take the red one and I'm taking this deeper shade. I wanna try and layer. So there's a deeper and a lighter. I'm taking the deeper of the two. I'm taking the brighter red now. I'm just layering it. Oh wow, that's actually quite pretty. Let's not forget a fragrance. This is my go-to with a warmer weather fragrance, Basilico and Fellini. It's just so fresh and it really reminds me of a garden because of the basil, kind of like along the lines of um, tomato leaf. I really love that scent. It's so clean. It's very unique yet specific. Same thing with this. It has that basil fragrance in there. So that's what it reminds me of, a fresh garden. So I think that's why I especially love it in these warmer months. And we've come such a long way since the beginning of the video with the Ilia product. This definitely looked too light, but now everything has come together. That's why I don't get too concerned when something's that light because it's a lot easier, I've said it before, to do some correcting with powders on top rather than the other way around. If the foundation's too deep, I really can't do much with it at that point. I really like it knowing that I've got SPF 40 on my face and it still is quite a thin layer. So some SPFs, like I love the color science even up, but it really is more like a paste than anything else but I'm willing to go with that because I know it does give me some really substantial protection from the sun. This one is very lightweight though. It's very serum-like and it looks really natural on the skin. It actually doesn't look like I have foundation on and you can see a little bit of the powder, but it does a really beautiful job. Um, so I really like it. It does take a little bit of work to get it to this place, but not that much work. I mean, I just need a powder that's a little bit deeper and it's fine. And this is another product that looks too light on, but it really just does a nice job of gently refracting the light away from these areas without adding a lot of makeup. And then this Floresis brow product, wow. Very, very happy with this. Very impressed uh, right away with this pencil. I didn't know what to expect because I've tried so many of these brow sword type pencils before, but this is maybe one of the best pencils in this form that I've ever used, even above something like Shuomura. And they're usually the ones who come out first with the brow products and then other people kind of follow from what I've noticed. Really wonderful iteration on this kind of a product. Loved the color, loved how it applied. And then this by Terry CC powder, uh, it says deluxe edition and it does have this heavier duty packaging, which I really like. Um, I thought it was gonna be too deep for me, but I really like the glow. It worked really well with the SPF because we did need to deepen it up. So I'm gonna actually run this across here again just because I powdered with the blur powder, but I wanna still get a bit of that sun-kissed effect right across here. This is where, if I actually were going to go into the sun, I would get a little bit of color. 
and I've really been ramping up my SPF. Actually, I purchased some gloves. I don't know if that appeared in a haul yet, but SPF gloves for when I drive, just to protect my hands from the sun. Only thing I'm gonna caution you is not to add too much because it will emphasize texture. Less is more with this on textured areas. Otherwise, you can go in layers here on the exterior, exterior if you don't have texture like me, um, where it's quite smooth, I can add layers just fine. But really up here, I have to be a little bit careful, but I like the glow. By the way, it has a really beautiful, I don't think I showed you, beautiful pattern on it, on the actual powder. These two products, Really lovely blush. I am very impressed with this, especially this one here. This is pretty too, but I just would use this color more. Really lovely one. Then I tried all of these lip shades. What beautiful lip pencils. I'm not a lip pencil person, mostly because the shades don't look um, accurate on me, but these did a nice job of really showing their true color on top of my already pigmented lips. Everything was smooth, no skipping on application. You can go for something more matte or you can add a gloss like I did. And these had staying power. I couldn't, oh, I have some on my cheek. Um, I couldn't uh, remove this very easily. So that makes me think that if I was going to go out and eat, it would stay in place, but I'll have to watch, but very nicely done. So my top recommendations here are that eyebrow pencil really impressive and this cheek color I think was really beautiful and then well actually I really like the powder as well a lovely summer glow and then the lip was also really nice any of those lip liners so I think these are all quite winning products um even the Ilia even though it turned out so light to begin with it serves the purpose of providing SPF and is a really thin application. So that's the trickiest part I think with SPF is finding a thinner consistency that actually provides protection. But that is it for the get ready with me. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any of these products, any suggestions on application or how you get things to work for you even better. We would love to know, but that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I will see you next time.